Homegrown alligator, see you later. Gotta hit the road, gotta hit the road. The sun ain't changing the atmosphere, architecture unfamiliar. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top. That I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be 7th of February 2018 And we've snuck into the Jubilee Room Do you want to show people what this is? We're at New South Wales Parliament today And uh, we're meeting with, I think, 20 politicians or so Over the next uh, two days We've already had half a day here today and the goal is to talk about Artsakh. It's uh, Thursday the 8th of February and uh, we're at the New South Wales Parliament House. We've snuck into the parks room. As you can see, there's no public entry. Um, we're here today. We've met with nine politicians um, and we're discussing um, Artsakh and the, th the 30th anniversary of the Sungai massacres. Um, We've brought with us our Artsakh briefing kit and we're hoping to rally some support for Artsakh um, in our fight for recognition and self-determination. February 9th, Hey Tad, behind the candy bar, Palace Nova, East End, Adelaide. We've had some successful meetings, pre-election meetings in Adelaide. We're now, um, we just screened uh, with Peter Malinowski and Mitt Atkinson, we screened Architects of Denial. Uh, we have uh, also spoken to Mick and thanked him for his extensive work uh, to do with uh, genocide recognition in the, in the Parliament. And Peter Malinowski is committed to supporting our media issues into the future. We thank them both for that. Thank you and uh, take care. February 13, Canberra, Armenian um, National Committee of Australia. Uh, <laughs> we're here in the uh, staff dining room. We're not meant to be here. We could get kicked out at any moment. Um, so we're here to meet with our friends in the Interparliamentary Union for Australia and Armenia. Um, we've had some productive meetings so far and we're looking to have a few more discussing issues surrounding the Armenian Genocide and its recognition and uh, the situation in Artsakh to make sure all our friends are aware of what's happening and can do what they can to uh, prevent future crimes from being committed on the borders. It is Tuesday the 20th of February 2018 and I'm here with the ANCAU team in Perth, Western Australia where we've spent the day lobbying on issues of importance to the community, especially on the topics of recognition of Artsakh and recognition of the Army of Genocide. It's the 6th of March at the New South Wales Parliament House and I'm behind the desk of reception of New South Wales Parliament House. And we're here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the New South Wales Parliament recognising the Armenian Genocide. We have a fabulous event in the strangest dining room. Right now we're about to go, but I thought I might just look through some files. 31st of May, Canberra, Parliament House. We're here with the Armenian National Committee. We've stuck into the Great Hall. Um, we've just finished a couple of meetings with some senators and members uh, of the House of Representatives. Uh, we've been discussing the Armenian Genocide uh, motion, which we're looking at getting uh, up into the House soon. Uh, we've been speaking with politicians that we haven't necessarily had a connection with, and we're hoping that they'll bring some attention to the cause in the lead up to that motion. You know, one, one, thing that, one thing that seems to be missing is uh, Michael. Did he just not turn up today, or...? I'll let you go for it. Yeah. Change of clothes? Yeah. Did you bring a change of clothes?
Holz. We didn't drink anything, did we? There's a lovely wine. Ori Nageli Ebersarte. The wine list, yes, it's good, but we didn't touch it. We didn't touch it. And uh, water for us, keep ourselves hydrated. And what was on, and uh, it's a Greek, Greek theme today, as we can hear.